So Shailesh, you finished as the highest ranked Indian in this tournament, uh, 8 out of 10. Uh, how, how has the tournament been for you? Yeah, my start was, wasn't that great. I drew two, uh, two of my games against low rated players. But somehow uh, I made a comeback after that and I played a draw against Tokayev Adams. Uh, then I guess, uh, yeah, I had few more draws and in total I had four draws and I won the rest of my game. So I thought it was pretty decent. Unbeaten, that's a great, great feeling always to leave the tournament on an unbeaten note. Yeah, definitely. So tell us something about this last round encounter that you had with uh, Hussein Khojev. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it was a pretty interesting game. Uh, I have I hadn't really prepared this line seriously. Uh, I just knew that Negi had uh, recommended this particular variation against the French with A6 B5 in the classical. And I guess uh, uh, this F5 move I, which I played, I think it is a pretty standard idea in such positions. And uh, after that, I thought this piece sacrifice, I, I had a lot of initiative. Yes. B4 F6, yeah, yeah. B into C3, you take back with yeah. the. Uh, pawn. Okay, the the point is if his queen was somewhere on the queen side, it yeah. would have been a good sacrifice. But his queen was also coming for the defense. So how yeah. do you assess this? I think it's pretty funny because uh, previously, in, uh, before one move, I think I could have done the same thing. Because like, I think I played a3 instead of that, I could have done f5 and he would have done b4, I could have done f6, b takes, b takes. And the difference is his queen is on b6. Mm -hmm. So. I, I don't know why I didn't go for this before, but okay. After that, the queen joined the defense, but I think I had I just had more pieces on the king side compared to his defenses. So maybe I thought why not go for it? And queen g5. How did it feel making that move? Uh, yeah, I think it was accompanied by a mini heart attack because I completely missed this queen a7 check, and it's really funny if you miss checks uh, because it can go the other way around. But then I realized that even after that, if I play d4 or something, it's still mate after hg g5, rook h3, then rook h7. So <laughs> yeah, it's, it was pretty nice to play a move like queen g5. Right, so Shailesh, uh, this was a very nice win for you. Uh, and you're currently, what's your rating? Uh, my rating is around 2300. I'm, I think I'm 2306. And yeah. And you, uh, how many norms do you have? No, actually I don't have any norms. As so you are trying to get your IM yeah, norms? Yeah, I'm still trying to get my norms. And uh, you, you just finished your 12th standard, yes? Yeah, I just finished my 12th standard this year. And and, and you have taken a drop? Yeah, I have taken a drop to play more tournaments this, this year. This is a very bold decision by you. Uh, what was your thought behind it? Yeah, actually I thought, like, I studied a lot uh, in the later half of my 12th standard because unfortunately I had taken science. Okay. <laughs> so I thought uh, maybe I could give up, give myself a break for one year and focus more on chess because uh, like it doesn't matter if I graduate at 21 or 22 but uh, I, w I don't want to regret not playing enough chess. So, so uh, thought, does it put more pressure on you because you have left uh, your education? Yeah, initially that was, there was some pressure but uh, after a certain time like I, I had made a proper schedule of practicing and then I started pr feeling pretty confident and I had a couple of decent tournaments so yeah, as of now I'm, I don't feel any pressure. And has the work, uh, has the year been going according to plan for you? Uh, uh, actually, if I had like one or two norms or even three norms, it would have been like a decent year. But uh, I need to uh, score my norms. But I'm not thinking about it as of now. I just want to play good chess. And whom are you working with? Do you have a coach? Yeah, just recently I started working with GM Vishnu Prasanna from Chennai. And yeah, before that I used to take coaching from uh, Gurpreet Singh Maras. He's from Nagpur, my hometown. And yeah, pretty much. So Shailesh, we wish you all the best and uh, we hope that by the time you resume your education, you would at least be an IM. Yeah. Thank Maybe you. Maybe even a GM, yes. Thank you. Thanks a lot.